Hi guys, welcome back to Sunny Whimsical. Today, the makeup I'm gonna show you actually doesn't inspire by anything. I just feel like I'm doing it. For the primer, before I apply my foundation, I'm gonna use this shade of Smart Filtering Smooth Primer to cover my pores. I'm controlling on oil and make sure the foundation it will slip on my skin properly. I strongly recommend this product to someone who have visible pores concerns. So you can just use your finger lightly dab in and blend it on the particular area. You can see how it burns all the pores. For today's foundation, I'm gonna use the Shiseido Cynical Skin White Cushion, which is semi matte but medium coverage and actually really lightweight. With the color smart technology actually will match your own skin tone and also adapt to your skin condition. For my facial complexion, I'm using this Adidas House Deck Contour. So I drain the shade on the area where I want to look slimmer. Start on the cheekbone, the jawline, the nose bridge. Yeah, I'm trying to make my nose look smaller. And of course, don't forget the double chin as well. And I need to move on to the headlines to cover my big forehead. After I draw the baseline of the shader, I use the other side of the contour stick to draw the highlight. So I start on my nose first. And then the upper lip because I want my lip look like more pop up, more dimension. For my eyebrow bones, and then move on to my cheek bones as well. Yeah, sort of look like I'm doing animal face painting. <laughs> so I just use a beauty blender to blend all the contouring and the highlighting all together. To be honest, now I feel a little bit awkward because um, I don't know what else can I say, what, what should I describe it when I'm still doing all the blending or showing on my video. And then I use a translucent powder to matte down and set my makeup on. I like how it turned down the shine for my skin, but it is not powdery at all and really lightweight. And then next, I use this Skin Spay Lift Concealer to conceal my eyebrows. Since my eyebrow was really straight and without the eyebrow edge. This is the best way to erase and reshape my eyebrow. Today I'm using this one my sheer eyeshadow palette both for my eyebrow and eyeshadow. I use this dark brown eyeshadow to draw an intense dark eyebrow to match with today's makeup look. And then I use the light eye fairy eyeshadow to highlight my eyebrow so my eyebrow will look more sharp and stand out. I'm using this wet wine eyeshadow for today's soft cut crease eye makeup look. So for beginner, if you don't know where to put your cut crease eyeshadow, you can actually fill it with your finger. That should be under your eyebrow bone, but where your eyeballs hook in. After I draw the base line, I use the eyeshadow blending brush to blend the light and make it softer. So cut crease actually is a really general makeup skill to make your skin look more defined and bigger. 
and I use this white eyeshadow put on my eyelid area so my eyelid will appear more thicker and the cut crease eyeshadow will more stand out and then I pick the same wet one eyeshadow and put on the bottom eyeshadow and the eyeliner as well I look like I got punch on my eyes therefore you need to blend the eyeshadow more right up like a cat eyes So for today, I'm using this Eva Mascara Gel Eyeliner in black to draw my eyeliner. And I'm gonna use the shimmering powder eyeshadow to highlight my eyelid and also the inner corner of my eye as well. Before I put on my four eyelashes, I'm using the shoe shade or eyelashes color to clean my eyelashes properly. This is the repeat for eyelashes I got from Japan last time and the four lashes glow which I used actually from Daiso Wait for the eyelashes glow completely dry out I'm gonna use the curler to curl my four lashes and my actual eyelashes together So we have been staring on the camera and the mirror for too long It's time for me to do some eyeballs exercise Suddenly I feel like I need some glitters on my eye to make myself feel better I put a little bit glitters on the bottom of my eyeliner I got this mascara from one of the Instagram will tell her since there's so many reviews in talking about it and I gave it a go to see if it is what they are advertising you can build the mascara into a way long lashes so finish up all my eye makeup I'm gonna use the Eva mascara powder brush in the naked rose color instead of start from the cheek and blend it outward the starting point should be under the temple between our ear and starting from outward to inward and then blend it with the circle movement for the skin glowing highlighter, I'm using this Eva Mascara Peel Pigment. Wow, wow, wow! For the lipstick, I'm using to show you the Wish Wish in the LD124. Repeat, LD124, LD124. This is a warm tone lip color, but it contains to pink coral, pink, and orange in it. Even though this is a matte lipstick, but it doesn't dry my lip out. I apply it straight up without putting any lip balm underneath. For the final step of this tutorial, I'm applying in the mascara instant lip gloss on my lip. So it does look like I ingest daylight on my lip. 